Hello! Today we are going hiking. You're going to see some beautiful places in nature and after the video we will talk about some phrases and vocabulary in English. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's go! hiking. We're going to hike five miles. Let's go. All right, now we have to cross this big bridge. Let's do this and check out the, the creek below us. So pretty. Oh. That isn't entirely me. Do you use that for your, uh, come on, buddy. Okay, so now we have to climb uphill. Let's do this. All right, so check this out. Look at all these stairs. Oh, are you ready? Let's go. We have made it down to the Devil's Icebox. Let's climb down. And then there's a cave back here. It's a little cave. Just a little cave. Look, check this out. Flat land. It doesn't go up. It doesn't go down. It's flat. Yes. So right now we are at a canyon. Look. <laughs> and look here. The trail is very wet. See? We have to climb the wet rocks. Be careful. So we just finished this section. Look how beautiful it is. And now we're climbing up these rocks. Be careful, come on. Okay, we made it to the top of these steps. And before that, we were in this canyon. All right, so we're stuck. We go this way. There's a fallen tree we have to go around. But if we go the other way, we have to go down this steep slope. Oh, up or down? Let's go down. We made it! Walk down the side. No, like sideways. Okay, so we made it through the, um, the rocks with the water going over them. And now we're going up what's called 
Boulder Canyon. And it's a trail of big rocks. <sighs> but the plus side is, you got a really nice waterfall over here that doesn't have a whole lot of water going down it. Should we, t should we go see the waterfall? Yeah, let's go see the waterfall. All right, we're at the waterfall. I don't know how well you can see it. I try to zoom in. All right, now let's climb some boulders. Okay, so we're here in the rocks. Look at the size of these boulders. And they're all the way up the trail. Oh, check it out. We made it up the rocks and now we get to sit. Oh, have a seat. Almost to the top. So ahead of us, we have more stairs. Let's get going. Now we have to walk over all these tree roots. Be careful, don't fall. We obviously did not go that way. Hmm. We are in another canyon. And if you look down, we are walking where the water goes. It's really slippery, so be careful, okay? Come on. So, if you want to see where we just climbed, check this out. The canyons in this park are beautiful. But now it's time to keep going. Uh, except I don't know which way to go. Honey, <laughs> which way do we go? That way. So, if you look down, the roots make natural stairs to climb down. Check it out. How cool, how easy is that? Makes your journey down much easier. Look, this tree fell down and made a bridge over the stream. Oh, and there's more branches or more trees that fell over here. We'll take a quick look at these. Oh. So the land is really different here. If you look, there's a lot of plants on the side of the trail and this one this one is really important to know see how this plant has little the sides of the plant are not straight they're pointed these are called nettles if you scratch your skin with them your skin gets red and it itches don't touch the nettles all right, so we have been walking forever, but now the ground is flat, so we just have to keep walking. I know you're tired, but come on, you can do it. Okay, so after approximately four and a half hours of hiking, we have reached the Lusk home, which is a very, very old home here. They have a garden. Uh, I don't know what that little building is, honestly. Yeah. Oh, and they have a water fountain. Just saying. Okay, which way do we go next? And from the home, we go back on the trail. Alright, we made it to the coal mine. You can see the cave right here. 
and I'll take a picture of the four information signs about it. We've been hiking now for about five hours. I want my house. I want my bed. I want my cats. I want to go home. And to get home, we have to go up more stairs. <sighs> I know you're tired, but come on, we're almost there. Let's go. Let's do this. We can see the suspension bridge. We're almost back to the start of the trail. Yes! Come on! And this is us finishing up. And look at all the people and the water. People are swimming in the creeks. And in just general, enjoying beach fun. Just so you know, on the way down, I fell down these, fell down these stairs. But we survived. Here we are. <coughs> Hello again. Now it's time to talk about some vocabulary. But first, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Now, let's talk vocabulary. First, let's talk about icebox. Icebox is a word that was used for the original refrigerators. When, a re when refrigerators were first made, they had a place where you put ice inside the refrigerator to keep it cold, and they called it an icebox. This part of the trail is called an icebox because it's very cold, much colder than the other area. Climbing. We use the word climbing for when we climbed over the rocks. We walked up the rocks. That's called climbing. You can also climb a tree or a mountain. Climbing is very exciting. I like it. Hmm. Slippery. Slippery is the word we use for things that make you slide and fall. Um, a banana peel is slippery. If, you, if you're walking and you step on the banana peel, you, you fall, you fall down. The banana peel is slippery. Wet rocks are slippery. It's easy to slide on them. Be careful on the slippery rocks. And we talked about two phrases in this video. The first one is, come on, slow poke. Come on means come to where I am. But come on can mean hurry. And slow poke is a word we use for someone who is slow. They're walking slowly. Or they're doing something slowly. Slow poke can be mean, but if you're saying it to a friend, it's not mean. It's, it's funny. And have a seat. Have a seat means sit down. Um, we say that when we welcome people into our house. Hello, come in, have a seat. 
in the video, I told you to have a seat. And I showed you where to sit. Okay, that is our video. Let me know in the comments if you have questions, if you would like to see something in one of my videos. Tell me how I, how I can help you with your English.